Hallelujah. Glory be to God on this blessed Thursday. I uh, give God the praise and the glory and the honor on um, this day. And as always, welcome to the Deliverance and Breakthrough channel. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Um, I hope all of you are doing well and that you are remaining into position and into alignment with God on a daily basis. Amen. God loves us so much that he sent his son Jesus to die for all of our sins, giving us a chance uh, of salvation through genuine repentance uh, and, a, and a desire to be in the will of God. Amen. I thank God for that on this day. I thank God for those of you who uh, support this channel. I thank God that you recognize and that you identify that the uh, truth of God and biblical truth flows on this channel. I thank God for you, all of your comments and, and emails. It is truly a blessing to fellowship with people who love the Lord as myself and those that have a desire to grow in the Lord. Amen. I thank God for all of you. Uh, I thank God for those of you who are on the battlefield of the Lord. I say that because I want you to be encouraged to continue to press forward into the ministry that God has placed in your life, wherever God has placed you, whether it is uh, street ministry, social media platforms, uh, rather, God is using you in a ministry, helping the poor, those in need, passing out Bible tracts. Continue to press forward and, and be a witness to those who are really struggling uh, uh, in this life in hopes that someone would uh, accept Jesus Christ uh, into their lives or that someone would be delivered for real through uh, biblical truth. And the power of God, amen. Uh, my prayer is that God would use this channel to deal with the issues, amen, to where people can come to this channel and they can pick a variety of words from the Lord for spiritual growth and deliverance, amen. There is a, <clears throat> excuse me, there is an urgent word from the Lord this morning, that I want to share or transmit into your life. And as always, if this word is not for you in this season, I ask humbly that you would pray for those this word is for. Amen. I'm going to minister this. And uh, I ask those of you um, who, uh, I ask that those of you will listen to this content away from young children. I'm really going to be dealing with some some issues here, some very sensitive uh, uh, um, um, topics. As the Lord leads me. Um, so today, I'm gonna. I had a, a a a dream, a prophetic dream, and I thank God. Uh, another layer has been added to this channel. Um, I feel released of the Lord to really address dreams that the Lord gives me to uh, warn the people. And, um, you know, so today I want to deal with uh, um, sexual sin. I want to deal with that, those who are struggling, really struggling in this area. Um, so in this particular dream, there was people that were on a bus. It was maybe maybe 10 people on this bus. And at the bus where it was moving, there was about seven or eight, seven or eight uh, prostitutes that kind of blocked the road. So the bus had to come to a halt. And these people got off of this bus and they began to mingle or begin to talk to these prostitutes. And, um, then they begin to follow these prostitutes through this hallway. And these, these prostitutes, these uh, people, uh, the prostitutes, they uh, transformed into these hideous demons. I've listened, I've been 
in spirituality for a long time, and I've never had a vision or a dream like this. This dream was very detailed, and each and every last one of these uh, prostitutes uh, transformed into an individual demon, and these creatures were hideous. And the more, the most disturbing part of this dream is that these demons, they begin to eat the people's body parts. I, I could, they were literally eating the people that followed them, and you could see them just eating up their bones and their flesh, just blood all over their mouths, and they were literally devouring them. And in my dreams, a lot of times, it's almost like it's a spiritual camera that will lock in on a particular moment and to see those people's body parts who follow those prostitutes, um, to see their body parts literally be shredded apart like that. They were just literally just feeding off of these people. And uh, the dream pretty much ended there. And I was very disturbed uh, by their dream and the revelation that I received in my spirit is that those people who are flirting and those who are uh, living in sexual sin, that if you do not repent, that destruction will happen. And uh, living in sexual sin does, <clears throat> excuse me, living in sexual sin uh, separates us from God. And if true repentance does not happen, it will lead into hell and torment. This dream has several layers. And um, so for those of you who are struggling with sexual sin, I want you to know that God loves you very much and that he sent me to warn you to repent of your sin and to get back into position with God. Um, it is a strategy of the enemy to, to uh, deceive people into thinking that they can live in sin and that it is okay and that they will begin to uh, still be able to reign with God. Now, the Bible clearly states that fornicators and adulterers will not enter into the kingdom of God. Now, I really want to deal with that because I want you to begin to understand living comfortable in sin will lead to separation from God and destruction. Uh, we understand that God loves us and that forgiveness is available for those who genuinely repent from sexual immorality. I want you to understand that that you can be delivered from this right now if you want to be free. But God loves us, but God hates sin. I want you to understand this. God loves us and he hates sin. Now, just because God sent his son Jesus to die for our sins, that does not mean that we can live comfortable in sin. Now, I want to say this because I have to really paint this picture that many of you can understand the spiritual urgency to repent of sexual sin. Um, now, I want to deal with this because, and I say this a lot, why would God, who hates sin, Send his son Jesus to earth to die for your sins, only for you to live in sin, then accept uh, a sinful person into the kingdom of God. People, that is not going to happen. And I want to be the one to warn you because I don't want you to think uh, that, 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 that living comfortable in sexual sin is okay. Now, the thing that we must understand is that we cannot have God and sin at the same time. We must either choose holiness or, or make the choice to live after our own flesh. Now, this is what I want you to understand is that through the power of God, hallelujah, and genuine repentance and Prayer and fasting and a hunger for deliverance. 
You can overcome sexual sin right now. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I felt that one. Because there are people who have overcome sexual immorality. And there might be some of you who will come across this content. You might feel like there's no way that you can overcome. You can overcome sexual sin right now if you want it. And only through the power of God working in your life through his son Jesus can you overcome. Glory to God. Now, this dream, God was talking. He was really ministering to me in this dream how to warn the people because he knows that I love the Lord and I care about the souls of men. I have no hesitance upon ministering this word to you. To anyone that come across this content, you are living in adultery. You need to walk away from it immediately. To anyone that is living in the sin of fornication, you need to repent and walk away from it immediately. And God will help you to close that door. Anyone that is living in same gender sexual immorality and you're living comfortably in that. God can deliver you right now. Walk away from it. Anyone that is living in, 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 in masturbation and demonic sex toys. OK. God can deliver you right now to that person that's 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 shacking up, that's living with that man or that woman in sexual immorality. God can deliver you right now if you want it. But that dream was symbolic that destruction is going to happen to those people who are living in sexual immorality. Sodom and Gomorrah in the Bible is the perfect biblical passage of scripture that is an example of what sexual sin and immorality leads to. It leads to destruction. Yes, God loves us and grace and mercy is available. However, the Bible also talks about shall we continue in sin that grace may abound. God forbids. Now, it's very dangerous to know the word of God and to rebel against that. I'm a living witness. There is deliverance in the presence of God if you truly want to be free. Now, the interesting component of this dream was to see uh, these people, they followed these prostitutes. And when the prostitutes got them along, they destroyed them. The Bible talks about there's a way that seemeth right unto man. But the end thereof is destruction. That means that what you're doing can feel right. It can feel good in your flesh. It pleases your flesh. But sin has the ability to destroy your life. I understand that sexual immorality is a very aggressive stronghold because sexual intimacy was created by God only between man and woman in God's ordained marriage so that they can become one flesh and be fruitful and multiply as the Lord leads them and to establish a, a family that has a foundation of the Lord. Now, the enemy wants to get in that and he wants to pervert that. And there are so many of you who, who are struggling with this. There's those of you who are struggling with masturbation and 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 pornography and all types of sexual sin and you're finding it very difficult to get away from that some of you you want to be free you want to be delivered but you find yourself going right back to the same thing because many of you are going to have to learn how to deny your flesh and you're really going to have to, to to allow god in that part of your 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 life and to confess to the lord that you have a problem that you have an issue and that you truly need deliverance many of you need to be honest with God because he already knows your struggle. That's why the Bible says Jesus told the disciples that some things cannot happen only but by, by fasting and prayer. Because there's some of you, you have a very aggressive stronghold of sexual immorality and many of you are struggling. And for those of you 
who are in these ungodly relationships, I sense in the spirit to tell you, to tell those people that you can no longer see them again. Many of you, God has already warned you. He's already told you to disconnect from that man. He's already told you to disconnect from that woman. I'm not telling you anything new that you haven't already heard from the, the Lord because many of you have been convicted. But the way that they make you feel, you find yourself going back to the same thing. The way looking at pornography makes you feel in your flesh, the feeling it gives you, it keeps luring you back. The way masturbation and same gender sexual immorality is pleasing your flesh and you find yourself having a hard time letting it go. Let me tell you something. I do not care how 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 good your, your, your flesh feels when you are doing these things or with these people or on these websites or, or using these, these sex toys that are from the devil on these websites. I don't care how good it makes you feel in your flesh. Walk away from it. God will help you to be delivered right now. That's why there must be spiritual urgency. And that dream shows us. When these demons were consuming the body parts of these people, this was an, an example of the torment that many of them are going to experience when they stand before God and they are rejected because of a sinful lifestyle. It leads to destruction of torment. I mean, these demons were hideous. I've never seen this before in my life. There are so many of you. God has warned you over and over again. And many of you have turned a deaf ear because God loves you and he wants you to be in his presence. There is safety in the presence of God. And some of you, you allow the Lord to deliver you and you went right back to it again, knowing the truth. See, and this is why the enemy is raising up these lukewarm preachers who will tell you live your best life. It's OK. You know, it's OK to live in sin. It's, you know, these, these these false preachers and prophets are telling you that it is OK. God understands. God is still working on you. Do not listen to these false preachers who want to make you feel good in your flesh. Uh, -uh. The Bible clearly states. The danger of sin to live in the flesh will lead to death. To live in the spirit is life and peace. Yes, I understand this faith walk is a struggle. Yes, I understand that we have a sinful nature and the flesh is real. However, God is the answer to your deliverance. See, and this is what the enemy does. He loves to compromise what God told you not to touch. And that's why you have people who will say, well, the Bible does say that our righteousness is that of filthy rags. And now there's a, the enemy is starting to get into that scripture and have people feeling like no matter how righteous you live, it's never enough. See, what you must understand, and that's why it's very important to understand scripture, understand that there is a call to holiness, and the enemy will flip the scriptures around to have people feeling like there's no point in trying to, to live holy. There's no point in even trying to do right because we have a sinful nature. We already have the power to walk away from sin. We have the power to walk away from it. Only through the power of God can you truly overcome these demonic strongholds. There are some of you... Um, um, and that is why I tell you, if you ever are a part of a, 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 uh, a, a church that does not deal with, with sin and repentance, you need to run. If you are a part of a channel, a YouTube channel that does not never minister repentance and, 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 and never deals with sin, run. The enemy is using them to make you comfortable, to, to make you feel like it's okay. It is not okay to live comfortable in sin with the assumption that God is going to receive you. Do not listen to these, these false preachers who tell you that salvation isn't work-based. Let me understand. God has called us to live righteous. 
and only through his spirit can you do that. Now, the objective of the enemy is to have you feel like obeying God isn't that serious. That's what he wants. And this is why he's going to deceive billions of people into thinking that living holy is not that serious. People, the Bible clearly states, be ye holy for I am holy. The Bible clearly states that flesh leads to, to destruction. There are people who believe that it is okay to live in sexual sin. It's okay. There are people who has married uh, the, 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 the same gender, these same gender marriages. Yes, God loves them very much. He does because sin is sin. However, God hates sin. There's people who, 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 who marry the same gender and they think that they're okay. People, many of people are playing with their soul. There's some of you, many of you, God has told you to trash these demonic sex toys that are opening up these doors of lust and pornography and masturbation. There are some of you who choose not to fornicate, but you will masturbate and go on porn. God wants to free you right now. There are people who got delivered from the stronghold. There are people that got delivered. And that is why I love that scripture that says that I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. You can overcome right now if you want it. God will take the, listen, through prayer and fasting and genuine repentance and a hunger to deny your flesh and to live holy. There are people who the desire for sexual immorality was cast out of their life. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You can overcome sexual sin right now, people, right now. I'm a living witness of this. You can overcome right now. He will take the desire from you if you seek his face. And if you truly want to be delivered, the power of God can deliver you right now. Glory to God. I feel God's anointing on this because I want to encourage you to know, do not be an example of that dream. Do not be like those people who got off that bus and got devoured in that dark alley. People is dangerous. These people, these these people that you're trying to have sexual pleasure with or these things that are giving you sinful sexual pleasure. It looks normal in the natural, but in the spirit it's nothing but evil spirits and, and, and spiritual wickedness trying to get your soul. I mean, these demons were these these demons were hit. I've never seen this before. The way they were chewing on these people, I, I, it was just it was just more frightening than any scary movie I've ever seen in the past. I've never seen this before. And God was truly talking. That's why the Bible says don't give the devil place. When these people got off this bus, that was a very key element of this dream. When these people got off this bus, they literally gave the devil place at that moment. See, they gave the devil place and that part of the dream is symbolic. Keep moving in God. Do not get distracted. So many of you are just distracted. Many of you are not spending time with God. So many of you are not praying. Now, I want to say this because I'm fully aware that there are people who are in, in God's will. There's people who have no interest in sexual immorality. There's people who, who you've gotten serious about God. You've allowed God to deliver you in that area. I thank God for you. And I ask that you would pray for these people who are really struggling in this area. People, it's time to walk away from it. Some of you need to walk away from the sexual TV shows that's, that's charging your flesh of lust. Sexual music, sexual video games, and, 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 and sexual books. Many of you need to walk away from this. Walk away from, from those things that corrupt your soul, that keep those doors open. Too many of you have too many doors open. You got too many doors open of sexual immorality that seem normal. 
And God is calling for those doors to be closed. Any sexual music, sexual TV shows, sexual books, sexual games, close that door. If you truly want to be delivered, close your door. Because the enemy, he wants to numb you. Spiritual numbness is very dangerous. That's why the Bible says be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary is that of a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. So many of you are not sober. You're numb. That's what happens when you live in sin. It, 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 it desensitizes you to think that everything is okay. And you're about to literally walk off a cliff. Now, I really want to lock in on those prostitutes in that dream. And I'm dealing with both genders, men and women. Because this isn't just an issue for men. This is an issue for women as well. But society wants to paint a picture that this is something that mostly men know. This is an issue for men and women. They just respond to things differently. There are some of you who have that, that lustful spirit on you. That lustful spirit. And you're walking around like a prostitute. With the prostitute's mentality, God loves you. He, he wants to break that off of you because there are some of you, you get a kick and a rise out of seducing men and women. Some of you get a kick and a rise out of flirting and wearing seductive clothing that God already told you not to do. And some of you get offended. When people tell you that what you're wearing is not appropriate, see, I'm not going to coddle you. I'm not going to coddle you on this channel. Uh, uh, No, because I want you to know that you can walk in spiritual victory right now. Yes, we understand that God looks at the heart. Yes. But if you know better, do better. You don't have to wear skimpy clothing and reveal your, your body parts. And that dreams display that. I'm talking about men and women because men do, do, it, do it as well. To that woman, you don't have to wear to let that evil spirit of lust drive you to wear these clothings that reveal your, your body parts. See, that's why God wants to heal you of low self-esteem and low self-worth. And to that man, you don't have to wear revealing clothes that's showing your chest and all, all, all various parts of your body. I know I was talking to my wife the other day and we were talking and it seemed as if, as if uh, some people are wearing less and less clothing. And it's revealing so many intimate parts of their body. God is not pleased with that. God is not pleased. Yes, God looks at our heart and, and in your heart, he sees that many of you get a kick out of it. You don't have to wear skimpy clothes of lust because that's a, a portion of, of, of sexual immorality, even in clothing, revealing your body parts. And to you women, the only people that should be seeing your body parts and the intimate parts of your body is your God-ordained husband, not anyone. God is calling for deliverance and to stop doing that. God has greater for you. And to that man, the only one, the only person that should be seeing the intimate parts of your body is your God ordained wife in marriage. Because many of you, you know better. I have to warn you because I'm concerned about your soul. You know better. That's why the, the Bible says for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven to who? To those who hold the truth in unrighteousness. There are so many people who know the word of God and they're choosing sexual immorality. There's pastors who are preaching the word of God, but they're living in sexual immorality. There's preachers and elders and, 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 and musicians who minister against sexual immorality and they're guilty of it. God is not pleased. Preaching the gospel while living in sexual immorality will lead to destruction. Being a worship leader on the choir, living in sexual immorality and shame on these, these so-called churches who refuse to deal with this. It breaks my heart to see these mega ministries to have all these people in the pews and they won't minister deliverance from sin. 
because they want your money and they want you to feel good. Now, I'm fully aware there are preachers who love God just like myself and who speak biblical truth. But it's very disappointing when I see these messages, even on YouTube. So many, so many lukewarm messages. How can you have a channel for three and four years and you never you never talk about repentance? You never see the word sin or deliverance. People run from that false doctrine. If you never hear sin or repentance be dealt with, you need to run because that person is, is allowing the enemy to use you to feel comfortable in sin. That's why the Bible says that we should preach in season, out of season, exhort and to rebuke because you must understand that 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 the Bible in terms of preaching is very balanced. Our teaching should be balanced because on this channel, those who follow me on this channel, I deal with uh, encouragement. I deal with deliverance and I also address sin after Lord leads. The gospel is balanced. It isn't one dimensional. There's too many lukewarm, motivational speakers out there that want you to feel good. I'm concerned about your soul. I want you to be delivered and set free. And I could have easily been one of those preachers. Because I had an opportunity years ago. I had an opportunity to really climb the religious ladder in these fake churches, but I chose not to. I chose to, 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 uh, to, to obey God and disconnect from the religious system of false preaching. I chose the lonely road. I chose the path to speak truth because what good is wealth if I'm out of position with God? I choose, I'd rather be a preacher that nobody ever knows and be in position with God than to have wealth through deception and be on my way to hell. I thank God for a desire to speak biblical truth because sexual immorality is a sin and God can deliver you from that sin right now if you want it. Many of you right now, you can be delivered right now. Those of you who are in these adulterous relationships, repent unto God, tell them you cannot see them anymore. Deal with the issues in your, your marriage. Adultery is not the answer. God is the answer. He will heal and restore your marriage. Run from it. Many of you, God has already told you to leave, to, to leave that man or that woman alone, but you keep resisting because you're thinking about how they make you feel. You're thinking about how they make you feel in your body. And that is what the enemy is using to lure you there. You're thinking about how that woman makes you feel when y'all talk. That is what the enemy uses. You know it's not of God. You feel it. You sense it. You know it's wrong. Do you want to be delivered? Do you want to be free? There's a lot of people, they think about it. But, but, but their, their flesh, pleasing their flesh is more important. Do you want to be delivered from sexual immorality? Don't be like those people in that dream that was devoured. Do you want to be set free? Because if you really want to be set free, God will do it right now. I'm a living witness of that. There's things that I struggle with in my younger years. And in my earlier years of salvation, the Lord literally took the desire away. People, I am a living witness that God will take it away right now if you want to be delivered. Glory be to God. I feel God's anointing on this. If you want to be set free, he'll take it right now. Hallelujah. And through prayer and through fasting and through a hunger for, for, for holiness, a hunger to deny your flesh and through the power of God circulating through his spirit, you can overcome right now, right now. See, the enemy wants to tell you that this is your thorn in the flesh. Well, this is just, just and I want to deal with those, those people. I want to deal with those people. Because the enemy would tell you, and I've been here, there were things in my life that I struggled with in my younger years. And I would feel like, well, I guess this is that one struggle that I just have to have because I can't get free from this. That is a lie from the enemy. And the Lord would deal with me and rebuke me. And through the power of God 
and through the wisdom of the word of God and spending time in the presence of God, I understood what true deliverance in certain areas was. You can be delivered right now. He can take it away right now. He can take it away right now if you want it. Walk away. Repent from, from adultery. Repent from fornication. Repent from, from using demonic sex toys. Even those of you who are single, you don't want to fornicate. But you find yourself trying to release sexual tension through masturbation. See, don't trade sin for sin. 